A gruesome video of Fritz Huber batting, battering Anela Hoyana to death with the screams of Hoyana's fiancé in the background continue to trigger intense anger and shock in South Africa. Newsroom Africa's Sipa Kema has more on the story. Last week, the unexpected took place right behind me. Obard. Fritz as many South Africans saw, took Anele Hoyana's life on this farm just behind us. Now the community and some family members describe their relationship as a friendship, which is why this attack came as a surprise to his family. Said that Anele Hoyana was Fritz's mentor into becoming a Sangoma. His wife and two kids were with him when this assault happened, as many South Africans witnessed in a recording that was posted on social media. This farm serves as a reminder to Anela's wife and children and his family. While many believed this was racially motivated, his staff and friends claim Fritz Jobart was more aggressive than racist. His ground staff, however, refused to comment on the record. Fritz, we usually used to invite me over at times. So for the whole of last year, we were in good books. Um, I wasn't really thinking that maybe he's got this aggressive nature in him. It was only this year, around February, when we last stayed contact. And by that time, uh, he wanted me to accompany him on a trip to Bloemfontein, but just use my car. But uh, when I refused, uh, his reaction to it uh, was quite uh, something that didn't settle in well with me. Following the February 2019 dispute, a few days before the horrific attack on Anele Hoyana, Chabat reached out to DJ Zwester with an invite to his farm. Then he snapped. Initially, um, even Fritz made us some dinner, you know, pride, all that. That was around 9 p.m., so everything was like in a party vibe, you know. Uh, it's only around 10 where I got a little bit concerned because my, uh, my, my girlfriend at the time, uh, she came to me saying, oh, Fritz is being touched on here, something like that. I just called him outside and... Um, and asked him about it, uh, of which firstly he did apologize and say, no, you know, like it's um, in our white culture, you know, we do this, but it's not like a big deal, like in a sexual manner, all that. So uh, we just stayed over for like, until it was 11 p.m. where I thought, okay, let me get Fritz to take us back. That's where the problem started. Initially, it seemed like, okay, here's the money, uh, but there was someone that he wanted to come that day, who didn't pitch up and he just snapped out of it. Like, you know, people come here and then all of a sudden, all oh, you wanna leave, you come here, I make you meals and this. And he, he was even referring to the music video that I did in last year to say, ah, I didn't even charge you for that, uh, for using my place. But I didn't wanna quarrel because last year I paid for everything, including the cost for my music video. He, he offered the accommodation because he wanted to improve the, um, the place. So I just said, okay, Fritz, it's, it's fine if that's how you want it, but can you just let us go? Uh, that is when he took that cash and bent it. What caused the seemingly sudden anger? I think mainly it's because of his uh, past friends that used to come to him and they now left him. Uh, and also he was having financial problems, I think. Um, then uh, he seemed to be coming back to his senses. Then he said, okay, I'm gonna give you this 200 rands. There were some 200 rands that he had folded and put on his other counter. Uh, and then when he's about to give me that cash, he snaps again, you know, and went way back to the previous uh, behavioral pattern. And then uh, he went over that side and was slamming decks and all that until he cut his hand, which is when he was bleeding uh, his left hand. Uh, obviously, he was frustrated over that. He's saying he may need medical attention. 
but something awkward happened because he just smeared that blood over his face and came and sat next to me and wanted to take selfies. So I had to just comply. It was reported that Hoyana mentored your path to be a Sangoma, but both Hoyana's brother and DJ Zwesta dispute these reports. It's alleged the photos taken were not of a cleansing ceremony. Layers to a complicated story and a very troubled man. While some argue about Franz Jobert's mental state, his friends and workers allude to a man who was in deep over his head and the possibility of substance abuse. For Newsroom Africa Channel 405, I'm Sipa Kemmer in East London.